about that sentence. But that was the worst one. Yeah. By far the worst one. Even a mayor and a governor were implicated in murder, as well as several sexual assault accusations. Legends state that all of these deaths resulted in hauntings, seeing the spirits of murder victims trapped within the Biltmore. Then, in October 24, 1929, there was a stock market crash that resulted in an unknown financial worker throwing himself off the 14th floor of the hotel. The identity of the man still is unknown today, but he left behind a legacy, as he is the Biltmore's most cited ghost. What do you mean he was unidentified? Couldn't they, like, pick him up after he hit the ground and be like, oh, it's Jimmy? Nobody knew who this guy was? No, 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 he was. That's weird. Not really. A lot of people were throwing themselves off buildings once. Yeah, but people would, like, they would have found their families. They didn't have the internet. They didn't have, like, phones. Yeah, but he must have had a mom. Yeah, but, you know. And she would have gone like, hey, my kid's missing. Well, he jumped off the 14th floor, about. Oh, maybe there wasn't too much of him left. Maybe not too you much should identifiable. The, you should see the way Amelia's looking at me. Like, her <laughs> eyes couldn't get much further open. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, you, know, you don't want to say it, but, you know. He he would have been pretty much smushed. He was splattered. Splat. Though he left from the 14th floor, his apparition has been spotted throughout the hotel. Many guests in lower levels also claim to see a man's body suddenly plummet past their window, only to rush over and see no gruesome aftermath on the street below. Thank God. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Scary. In addition to the phantom falling man and the many murder victims roaming the haunted Biltmore Hotel, other reports of unexplained paranormal activity do exist. Around the witching hour, many have claimed to hear the sounds of crazed parties coming from empty rooms. This includes the sounds of heavy stomping, as if drunken groups of dancers are taking the floor and glasses clinking from long past toasts. Others have heard and even cited apparitions of ghostly dancers gliding across the hotel's grand ballroom. So, if you want to stay a night at Providence's most haunted attraction, the Biltmore Hotel is located at 11 Dorrance Street in Providence, Rhode Island. And I looked it up, rooms start around $200 a night. We could swing $200 a night. It definitely swing 200 bucks a night. Especially if somebody sponsored us to go and stay there and do a hunt for $200 a night. Uh, okay. Cool stories, Beth. Definitely, definitely interesting stories. So I guess we don't do demons, so we're not going to the parents' house. And the Woodlawn section, Footsteps in the Night story, that doesn't give us an actual place to go to. So we have to decide, do we want to go to the Nine Men's Misery, which would be free, or do we want to go spend $200 to go to the Biltmore Hotel? Biltmore Hotel. Night? Biltmore Hotel. Zero question in my mind. Definitely want to go to that one. Uh, it sounds way more haunted. It it definitely does sound haunted. And I don't want to be, like, in Rhode Island late at night. No offense to our Rhode Island listeners. No, but you know what I mean? Like, out in the woods at, like, 3 a.m. in Rhode Island? The path is marked. Biltmore. 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 Will you pay for room service? No. They're not going to have anything vegan on the menu, and you don't drink. (laughs) This is true. I know a lot of really, really good restaurants down in Providence. Really good restaurants. Sean, will you be mad at me if I go spend $200 to spend a night at a ghost hunting hotel? You'll only be spending $100. Plus dinner. Okay. (laughs) I want to go to that one. Apparently, folks, we are going to the Biltmore Hotel. There we go. Yay! So, Biltmore! So I guess look forward to uh, an, an episode about our night at the Biltmore. Yes, ghost hunting in Rhode Island. So ghost bad. hunting in New England, Rhode Island edition? Sure. Okay, cool. All right, do we have anything else to talk about? Uh, we do. We got some more reviews this week. So we wanted to give shout-outs to the people who went on and took the time to uh, write a positive review for us. Okay, the first one comes from Barry. Ghastly fun! Amelia and Beth do a great job covering the many hauntings, stories, and legends in the New England area. They are knowledgeable, funny, and engaging. Do yourself a favor and subscribe. You'll be hooked, like me. Thanks, Barry. That was great. Thanks, Barry. Next is from Kaywell722. Great podcast. Really interesting to hear about the ghost stories in New England, most of which I had not heard before. Thanks, Kaywell722. That was really nice of you. Thanks, Kaywell. We actually got a lot of ratings this week. Next, from L. Hughes, 42. Love it. Easy listening with great stories. I'm hooked. We're getting a lot of people hooked. Okay. Is, that a, is that a bad thing? Nope. <laughs> Megan Ryan, 7690. Wow. Was recommended th- to this podcast by a friend. Definitely a fun listen. I'm skeptical about ghosts, 
but still have been enjoying listening to every podcast. Yay! Thanks, Megan and Megan's friend. Well, we're skeptical sometimes, too, as you could tell from tonight's episode where Amelia thinks that there's a serial killer, not a ghost in the house. Yes. Much like at my apartment late at night where I always think there's a serial killer lurking around somewhere. You think this is a serial killer? It's just no, your cat. Really. I know it's my cat. Your, so your cat might be a serial killer. <laughs> my cat's pretty mean. <laughs> my cat's really mean. Okay, well, thank you so much, everyone, for listening. I uh, hope you have a really great week. Uh, I hope we have a great week, too. Beth, you want to tell them where we can find us? Sure. Where um, they can find us? <laughs> you can. Uh, here, here goes all the contact information. You can find us on Instagram at Ghost Hunting in New England. You can find us on Facebook at Ghost Hunting in New England. You can find us on Twitter at Ghost Hunting NE. You can visit us on our website, www.ghosthuntinginnewengland.com. Or you can email us, ghosthuntinginnewengland at gmail.com. And as always, a big thanks to Aaron Schilb for doing the music for us, which we are really, really loving. You can reach him on Instagram at the Aaron Schilb. Yeah, and be sure to check out his new band, The Dirt Road Degenerates. Anything else going on that we need to shout out? I got nothing. Did you see that we got followed by uh, Boston Donut Fest? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna we'll be go. Ke- we'll I'm, go. I'm going to be keeping an eye on them. Let's go. Don't forget to subscribe online at iTunes and give us a five-star rating. If you don't think we deserve a five-star rating, please send us a message telling us what we can do to make your listening experience even better. And please don't leave us a one-star no, rating. don't do that. That's please so Please don't. No, 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 no. And when you go into a restaurant with kids, clean up the floor. Don't leave that mess on the floor for the waitress. And not even on the floor. Just, like, even if you just, like, take all the paper towels and, like, put them or, like, napkins, put them on one plate so that way they're not, like, picking up food and stuff. Like, that's – come on. Right. Come on. What are you doing? Like, all right. Bye, guys. Have a great week and – Happy hunting.